chapter 29. We just stopped off and uh, Cole, Smush, and Snapper had broken into the stalls and they find Boo and the other horses and they are at the point where they haven't officially committed a crime. And so Smush says, okay, you sure about this? And Cole says, yes, I'm sure. It's not stealing if it's already yours. And he brings up the, the theme, Cowboy Justice. Chapter 29. I push open the gate and walk up to Boo. I remember the first time I saw him and how big he seemed and how scared I was that he'd step on me. Now it feels okay, like we watching out for each other. I pet his neck and he brushes his head against my shoulder. My man, Boo. Suddenly, we hear a noise coming from upstairs. Definitely the sound of footsteps. Smush peeks in the door, cause we ain't got time for no reunions. We gotta get them out of here. The horses don't got no saddles, but we don't got no time to saddle them up anyway. Help me up on Boo, I say. Smush looks doubtful. You ever rode bareback before? I think of the last time Boo dumped me without a saddle. We don't got no choice, do we? I grab Boo's mane as gently as I can, and Smush gives me a lift. When I get up there, it feels all weird, nothing to hold on to but his hair. You don't mind, do you, Boo? I ask. He glances back at me like, what you doing back there? But he seemed okay with it. Okay, now, you guys get on them horses. The other six will just have to follow us on their own. Smush hops up pretty easy, but Snapper balks. I ain't getting up there. You crazy? There's some more scuffing going on upstairs. Smush looks tense. Snap, you best mount up. I know you ain't afraid of no horse. Snapper scowls. Come here, Dutch. Oh, we got somebody joining us for the rest. Are you gonna be a good boy? Oh, uh, no biting, no. He tries to get up on the horse, but it keeps moving around in circles. You trying to wake the neighbors, I say? You gotta act confident, like you know what you're doing. Where did I hear that before? Snapper glares at me like he's gonna knock me off. I ain't afraid, he says all steely. He stares down at his horse. You move again and I'll knock you out. I think the horse believes him because he don't move again. <laughs> Snapper gets up, though it ain't pretty. He seemed worried for a second until he sees me looking at him. What, I can ride? I just don't like to. The horses is getting antsy. I whisper in Boo's ear. Okay, Boo, you gotta lead the way. The other horses will follow you. He nods his head. Smush acts surprised. Maybe he is crazy as you, Smush says. I'm having some interference. He just took what I had my phone propped up on. All right, shift. I click my tongue and try to steer him out of the room. Boo moves slowly into the stall area, but stops halfway through. I can hear more shuffling upstairs. Come on, Boo, we ain't got all day. Someone drops something heavy upstairs, and suddenly Boo takes off. Not like racing, but a real fast walk, like you do when you know you're gonna get caught. Fast enough that I almost fall off. I'm grabbing all around for something to hang on to, but there ain't nothing. I squeeze my legs and pull back on his mane a little. He neighs and eases up by the front door. Quiet, Boo, I hiss. Don't get all spooked on me. Someone nudges Boo from behind, smushes horse. I turn around and after smush, only Snapper and his horse is there. The others didn't follow. Smush can see what I'm thinking. They ain't dogs, they horses. What'd you expect? Suddenly someone in front of us shouts, hey, what are you doing? He don't sound happy. I whip back around and see some guy carrying a trash can blocking our way. Before I can think of some crazy excuse, Boo takes off right toward the guy. This time I fall sideways and I fight to hold on, almost kicking that dude in the face as we fly by. The front gate to freedom that Snapper broke open earlier is barely open now. So Boo turns left and runs along the corral fence instead of going through the gate. I can't see what's going on behind me, but Boo stops for a second, long enough for me to try and right myself, and I see that janitor dude coming our way. He trying to get in Boo's way, but Boo ain't backing off. Behind him, I can see Smush and Snapper busting a move for the front gate. Smush jumps off his horse and opens it all the way and waves me over. 
Stop messing around. We gotta go, he yells. I roll my eyes, then kick Boo in the side, which he don't like too much. He steps toward the dude, who's clearly not a horse guy. He holds his trash can in front of him like a shield. But Boo just brushes him aside and follows Smush out the front gate. As we head into the darkness, I can see the guy running back inside the stone building. Probably gonna call the cops, but I don't care because I kept my promise. I freed Boo. All right, we'll pick up with chapter 30 tomorrow.